Look at that, put the camera on, the bird stops singing. Look at that house there. Lovely old house. Wow, look at the grass. Yeah. That's called the shifting sands. Yeah. When we first came here, about 12, 15 years ago, all this was sand. And now it's turned into grass. Yeah. Because over there on the other side, the opposite end, that's Grange over sands. Let's see if we can get a zoom in. Can't see any sunglasses on. There we go. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to the Lancashire Lights channel. I'm Rob. And I'm Colette. And today we're in sunny Silverdale. Silverdale. <laughs> yeah. And we don't have to pay for parking like it does because we're walking. <laughs> <laughs> Unless we park our shoes. <laughs> But what a gorgeous day. And there's a there's a lovely breeze as well. Yeah. Nice Great cool day breeze. for walking. So yeah, we're getting dead. Oh, you're alright. Yep. Just slipped. Let's having a bit of a tumble. I don't know if I've got the right shoes on today, to be fair. So if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed, then please hit that subscribe button. Because uh, we've noticed we're getting quite a lot of views for our videos, but nobody's subscribing. And uh, it doesn't cost anything and it really helps the channel grow. So Please hit that subscribe button. This what? terrain's a bit jibbery jabbery to walk over. Yeah, if you've got any uh, issues with walking, yeah, you need mobility, a... I definitely wouldn't be coming here. No. And uh, just up there to my right is what they call the fishermen's cottages. A lot of them are holiday homes that they rent out for this time of year. Oh yeah, we're on the grass now. This feels a bit better to walk on. Listen to that. How quiet is this? Beautiful. Does the tide actually come up to here now? Because it used to. It used to, didn't it? But yeah, but got... with the shifting tide. Is that much grass here now? Yeah. It's all changed. I mean, I know it does do that. There's old pictures that somebody told me he lives here that every seven, I think it's every 70 years with the shifting tides that all this eventually will be grass. Yeah. And I think Grange over the way because of the shifting tides, they'll get the tide coming into them. Right. Whereas at the moment, they're all They've grass. They've all got grass. So they? they do walks over the bay here. Yeah. From, now I'm not sure if it's Markham, which is there and they walk to Grange. They wait till the tide goes out, obviously. obviously. Don't. <laughs> it's a sponsored walk as well, isn't it? And they do it for well, charity. Well, yeah, they do it for charity. Yeah. There was one on yesterday. Um, really need to do we that. Saw, we saw some, didn't we, when yeah, we in, went um, to go and try and film that steam train? Yeah, in Grange. They'd done it that day, hadn't they? Yeah. They'd been over and done the walk. So, yeah, that's on our to do list, isn't it? So, you want to do the sponsored walk as well and go across the bay? Yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah, and then you can do it for like a charity that's yeah. close to your art. Yeah. So, probably a few for us. Look at that, beautiful. Mm. I can see a ship right oh. out to sea there, I can see it. Very oh, yeah. faint in the distance. That'll be the uh, Isle of Man one, won't it? It will, yeah. That's the ferry. We'll turn the Venetian. camera around and see if you can get this. There we go. That's as far as I can zoom in for that. <laughs> But well, yeah, that ferry's coming into Heesham docks. Should imagine it's coming back from uh, the Isle of Man. Yeah. Have they had the TT racing on this weekend or biker event or something? I don't know. They might have done with it, being the holidays. Let me just zoom out, bear with me. Whoa. There we go. They do have um, freights going that are not um, liners for people going over to Ireland from there. Yeah. And um, with produce and stuff. So. Yeah. Bit of a question for our viewers. Who's been liking our videos? <laughs> <laughs> Who's been enjoying our little adventures out and about? I tell you what, it's good for us because uh, regardless of the videos and the uploads and everything else, it's uh, helping to get rid of the old gut. Because <laughs> <laughs> as, as most of you know, as you get older, you put the junk on a bit, don't you? Yeah, it's hard to get off, isn't it? It is, it's very hard to get off. So doing these videos is actually helping us get out, 
get some walking done and get ourselves a bit fitter as well so you're welcome to join us watching our videos but don't sit about too long yeah get out there <laughs> you'll end up like me <laughs> get out there um, on the uh, beach here um the rspb on that yeah um and it's great for uh, bird watching got some abseilers over there just zoom in they're always there then I wonder if they're going, trying to get inside it where the old copper mine was. No, they're just going up it. So we were just talking to those two ladies and I was just saying um, how far are you going up like, you know. Oh, I've got mud on my hands now. Well, you will if you play fetch with. fetch with a dog. <laughs> play, play, decided to play fetch with that dog while we was there. Uh... Right, so this is the old entrance here. You know, like I was just explaining to them, two ladies that are doing the abseiling. Um, this used to be a copper mine many, many years ago, like in the 1700s. And this was the entrance here and it had like a little dinny track that came in and out and the uh, this is where they did the iron ore and whatnot there's an entrance there and the carts used to come out look at that tree uh -huh. it always looks like can you get it yeah it always looks like it's gonna fall doesn't Let's it see if we can zoom in a bit yeah the roots are just precariously hanging yeah in a fashion <laughs> But, I mean, it must be pretty stable because it's been there a few years, hasn't it? Yeah. In that state. And plus they've got all the other trees around it to protect mm. it when the stronger winds come. One day, I suppose. There we go. Right, isn't the, um, something else around here we wanted to show them? A cave or something. Oh, yeah. Look at the colours. The side there. You can actually walk along the top there, there's a walkway. Well, we'll do that on the way back. We can walk up there at the top yeah. and get a, a down view of everything. Yeah, yeah. Get a nice view of it, can't you? So there we go, getting a bit closer now. If you look at that at the top there, it looks like little bits of a castle, doesn't it? <laughs> wonder if we can get inside it. Might be steeper than I thought. No, bearing in mind, I am in my middle 50s. So I will give it a go, see how far I can get up. There we go. I'm oh, I'm it's a bit slippy, but this is as far as I'm going, just to show you. There we go. Oh. I got as far as I could. Yeah. I could have gone in. There but was a, no, there was there days was, where you could get in there. There was people uh, queuing to get in it. Everywhere we go, there's a queue, isn't there? Yeah. No, it doesn't matter where we go. We could, we could be in the middle of nowhere and we might see a waterfall or some fancy steps on the side of a cave or something. Soon as we get there, <laughs> the world and the mother turn up, don't they? Yep. Is the tide due in, love? No idea. I think we need to look I don't at that think one. it is because everybody's out there. I know, but I would like to be safe. I'm going to get um, a pan shot of the area we're in because we stood literally in the middle of nowhere on the, on the sand and you can see for miles. I'm just going to pan round and get everything in just to give you a perspective of uh, where we're walking. And. Uh, Colette's just found something on the sand there that somebody might have wrote. <laughs> Where is it? I can't see it. Can you not see it? Was no, 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 no. Oh, there we go. What does that say? Lancashire Larks. Wow, someone knew we were coming. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> like and share. I don't normally like doing that. You know, saying people subscribe, like and share. Because when I watch YouTube videos, I just automatically hit that subscribe button because I'm enjoying it. And then yeah. I'll know the next time they post a video. Yeah, so hit the notification bell. Is that something else to do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so Colette's just pointed out these up at the top. Apparently these are new. Um, again, I just need to take my sunglasses off. I wonder what it looks like through here with sunglasses. Hmm. Yeah. Right, so... I'll zoom in. Are these, Colette, where are you going? Don't, Colette. 
I need, need your, you. I need your you help over here. here. You Do get I need, a bit? I need you to explain what they are first. Well, they're all holiday cottages. That's it. I can't think well, of the Well, lodges, words. aren't they? They're, they're lodges. They're all holiday lodges. And who owns them? Hall Gates. Hall Gates. But I mean, the views they've got, something else. I wonder how much it costs to stay in one of them. I wonder if it's cheaper where we are. <laughs> there we go, a bit of a better angle. Somebody's just come out of that hole. Oh, what a beautiful view they've got I don't want to keep the camera on them too long. It looks no. a bit... Especially if they're having an enjoyment day of sunbathing. So what was you just saying then, Colette? I just saying, fact, they're living there. <laughs> living there? <laughs> yeah. Forget the holiday home, I'd live there. <laughs> <laughs> I know, look at the view they've got. So peaceful, so quiet. I hope you're enjoying this beach walking chat with us. You enjoying it, Clark? Yeah, it's very nice, and what a great day to do it. I know. On a Sunday, a Sabbath, day of rest. And that's what we're doing strolling, chilling, yep. relaxing. Yep. After a busy week in work. I'm on holiday yeah. now. Yeah. I've got I'm a week not. off. I'm, o I'm off in two weeks. You're off in two weeks? Yeah. You know, we should go away. Yeah. We should do some filming or something. Yeah. Go somewhere. Go to like, you know, one of these, what we just looked at. Not one of them, but, you know, <laughs> like a static caravan or something. Something we can afford. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> something on, in our budget. So Yeah. A shop doorway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we should do that. We should, uh, I mean, in fact, this afternoon, we should get our heads together and decide on where we're going to go. And yeah. Spend a week away somewhere. Yeah, well, we know our favourite spots, don't we? Oh, yeah, well, we've got lots of favourite spots in the UK. Yeah, true. But I think Poppy's got one more injection, hasn't she? Yeah. So what we'll do, we'll work out the date when her last injection is so we can take her out, because we're obviously going to be taking Poppy with us on our little week's break holiday. It's like today, isn't it? She's missing out on this lovely walk. She would love to be walking on these sands now. Oh, she shouldn't be walking, she'd be running. <laughs> Of course then she'd be knackered and we'd have to carry her. Yeah. But... Well, she's not yeah. heavy, is she? No. We waited the other day. We um, took her to the vets for an injection again. <laughs> and uh, they popped her on the scales and she's put on... What is it? She, well, she was two kilogram, weren't she? No, she's 2.5 kilogram. So what's she put on there? 0.5 of a kilogram. Mm -hmm. She's getting bigger, you can see yeah, that. Yeah, she's definitely getting bigger. And uh, hopefully soon she'll be joining us on our travels. Little Poppy, the miniature dash hound. Is that like another cave over there? Like, should we walk over to like that? It. I think actually, you see the road over there. Oh yeah, you can I get. I think off there's and a walk. cave where you can go underneath it. So it looks like we found another hole in the wall. <laughs> we can get a bit closer and see how deep this one goes in. Hopefully, there's no dragons inside. Oh, it doesn't actually look that big now, I'm getting closer to it. No. Hmm, that's a bit disappointing. Ah. That's a bit disappointing. I thought it was going to be a bit deeper than that. Wasn't that good, love? Oh. Should we try and uh, get up to Old Gates and get a drink? Yeah, let's go to Old Gates shop and get a cold drink. Then we can walk from Old Gates. Um, walk back down here? Well, you can either come this way or we can go over the lots. I think just up here there's like a tunnel that goes under the road. I'm a bit closer now to this hidden tunnel. There we go. Oh, it's a bit oh, nettle. It? It's onto a field, isn't it? Yeah, you can get to a Arnside Tower through here. Oh, can you? Yeah. So this is the road. We're just going under it. And uh, this is actually a public footpath. And you can follow it up there and it takes you to Arnside Tower. If you've not seen Arnside Tower, check out one of our other videos 
that we did the other day when we was looking for a steam train in Arnside. I forgot what it's called. What's the title of that video? Steam train at Arnside. Oh, the Arnside video. Yeah. Yeah. Right, let's get over to Old Gates and, uh, ow, get a drink. Oh, that's prickly, that, be careful. I know. We don't do ills, do we? No. Well, this but, is the idea of getting out and about, isn't it? Yeah. To get us more fitter. Lose a bit of weight on the mid drift. A bit? <laughs> Between us is a fair bit. <laughs> Probably another person. <laughs> bit cheeky that. Are you talking about yourself? I was probably? talking about myself as well. <laughs> Trip you there. Whew. I hope I'm not panting too heavy on this mic. <laughs> <laughs> it's got oxygen. I know. I just need a drink. But luckily, Old Gates, Caravan Park, they're my little huts we've shown you before when we zoomed in. That's uh, the Caravan Park and they've got a shop. They've got outside space as well, haven't they? Oh yeah. So we can sit outside and have a drink. Yeah. So we made it. Finally got to Hull Gates. It's just across here. Oh, look at that squirrel. <laughs> it's not a real one. It's ornamental. <laughs> I can imagine if it was real, I'd be running. <laughs> I know, it's a bit big <laughs> Don't worry, it's not a real one. No. That four foot squirrel. <laughs> there we go, Old Gates. Holiday Park. Make the discovery. And over there is the other one, isn't it? The cove one. Where them uh, shellies are that we saw before. Yeah. Right, let's go and get a drink. What are you having? That cold with ice. We got our coke. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Let's enjoy the sun and the scenery. Caravans. <laughs> caravans. Should we buy a caravan? One day. <laughs> nice cold drink to break up the walk. Yeah. Now we've got to walk all the way back. Yeah, it's not that far. So these are those, uh, oh. what are they called again, these? They were like huts, weren't they? Down, further yeah, down. Holiday cottages. Gorgeous. Yeah. Further down at the back down yeah. there. The views they've got down there. The cove. Holiday cottages. Oh, we found a bit of shade. Nice. You enjoy your coke? It's lovely. <laughs> Refreshing. Yes. It's so warm. Yeah. But I'm not complaining. Because it could be raining tomorrow. This is... Uh, this is... Uh, England. Yeah. And just to give you a bit of perspective of where we're at, this is the sign for Lancashire. The, we're right on the border now. So as you can see there, Lancashire, and just to our left, Cumbria. Yay! So this here... Oh, well, they've got rid of the county council because it's changed. Yeah, because they've divided it up now yeah. with the des desegregation. Yeah, what is it, Westmoreland? Yeah, we're on the West Furnace. West Malone and Furnace. Come now. here as well, I'll show you something else. What are you showing you me? This is interesting. Go on. But between that Cumbria and that Hey, does this mean we're in no man's land now? Yeah, but in no <laughs> man's land, if you watch um do geo catching, yeah. in no man's land, which is this bit between here and here, yeah. there's a What are you doing? Have a look. Oh my, is that a geocache? Yeah, do you want to do it? Oh, cool. <laughs> Let's get up here. How did you know that? Was oh, that? I know everything, me. That's going to go, I can see it. That's going to go on the other side. So what you do with these geocaching finds, when you find them, they normally have a piece of paper like this with everybody's name on who's found it. And you put the date on as well. I'm when gonna... was the last time it was found? It was last found. God, you're not going to believe this. Today? No. <laughs> 31st. <laughs> 31st of May, and today's the 2nd of June. All right. <laughs> um, it's a popular one, then. It's not right in this pen. Oh, we've got to go back to doing geocaching. Caching. I loved it. No, the pen doesn't work. It's great fun. Did I not see another 10 pens in there? There you go. Look. Yeah, but I can't get the pens out. There we go. Let's try this pen. Yeah, let me hold that. I can see that going over that wall. Show them what's inside it. 
So people leave things inside it and they've left. I don't know if you can make it out. I'll have to look. Looks like a little key ring. And then, can I see anything else? 20p? A little white thing. There we go. There's our find. Lancashire Larks, 2nd of June, 2024. So we roll this back up and somebody else will find it. There is actually an app you can download for the geocaching. And um, I think on our previous videos, some of our older videos, you'll see how it works, how the app works and everything. Um, it's just a map really of all the areas where these places are. And it's great fun. It's on great fun, days, especially with the kids, grandkids. Yeah, when you're taking them out on a walk, or even ourselves, I mean, we're not kids. When you're going out on a walk and uh, you're doing it, it makes a walk really good fun. Yeah, trying to find them. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you can't, but like that last one we was telling you about um, on the beach, we could not find that. It took us weeks, didn't it? Yeah. But it was in, it was in a real crafty position. Some of them are easy to find, and some of them are, are hard. Well, have, you you have, you, have you done with me? Yeah, there you go. Right, let's get back into Lancashire where we belong. Lancashire! Oh. So now we're in Lancashire. Good old Lancashire Cricket Club. Club, 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 club. It's easy for me to say. Look at the Lancashire Rose. So legend has it that Terry Pratchett once lived here. But I don't think so. I think it's just rumour and gossip. So this here, Cove Orchard, Cove House, it's actually a private residential home. And I'll tell you a little story who spent the remaining years of his life here. A very famous man from Manchester. And it was uh, Henry Boddington. Um, he retired here in Silverdale. And this was his where he spent his final days. And his grave is actually in the village at the old church down there. Oh yeah, it is. Anybody that doesn't know who Henry Boddington is, he, uh, he was a producer of the, the great famous Manchester Boddington's beer. That's now brewed in Newcastle. Brewed in Newcastle now, yeah. <laughs> Quintessential English cottages, holiday homes. Very nice. This is a very dog friendly village. They put water out for the dogs and to top it up, they've even got, so it doesn't get too warm, they've got the uh, protection around the tubs. Isn't that cool? To keep them cool. That's nice, that. Where does that door go to? At the end of this path now, as you can see, it leads us back onto the beach. And look at these here, just parked up. Got the deck chairs out, chilling. Enjoying it. Enjoying the day. Right, now, shall we go? We'll go that way. We'll go the opposite way, because we've just come across the beach. Yeah. So, so we'll go the opposite way. We've just been on the beach, and now we're going to go up... Uh, this steep incline. It's not that steep. Glet likes uh, steep inclines for some reason. I think it's not, she's, that's because it's not I that I think steep. she's trying to get me fit. It's not that steep. Look at it, it's massive. <laughs> I'll show you when we get a bit closer how steep this actually is. Look at that. Well, it gets worse as you go up. <laughs> and just but to give you a bit watched. of perspective how high we are. See? So we walked along here before at the to the cove. Beginning of our walk, and there's that cove, yeah, that I tried climbing in before. <laughs> and if you remember when we was down there, we said there was a footpath up here, but it's quite a steep footpath. It's not that bad, it Rob. It is. You, you, don't get... want, you, you don't want me to lose too much weight. And it's it, you get stunning views. <laughs> <laughs> I'm hoping there's some kind of bench halfway up where we can have a rest. Because this heat is not good when you're walking uphill. Still walking uphill. And I just want to show you this from uh, the top view of that tree we were talking about before. How it's just the roots are just precariously going in and out of the rocks uh, and the grass on the top. As you, you know, we was down there before looking up, and now we're up here ourselves. Thanks to Colette, pointing us in this direction. Well, when you get to the lots. For me, it's just the most beautiful view, and it's worth them seeing, I think. Yeah. Can you hear that bird? I can, yeah. 
What was you saying about this, about walking? What? The videos. Oh, this is just one little walk in Silverdale. There's actually quite a lot. Hopefully, we'll uh, get a few done. First over I've a few heard. Weeks. Can we not discuss this first? Look? It'll it'll help us. <laughs> Hang on, I'm, I'm thinking behind. <laughs> <sighs> you alright? Yeah. <laughs> just had to say it off then, because Colette was tripping. Not as in tripping, tripping. You should be tripping up. No, I'm tripping over. <laughs> So is this the lots now in front of us? Yeah, so this is a lot. And again, for me, I just love this walk. I'll never get bored of this walk. How often do you come here, you? Well, I come here quite a lot. It so is local. While I'm in work, you're just um, relaxing and enjoying yourself walking around. And... Well, why not? <laughs> it's local to us, so enjoy. Oh, it's not a squeaky gate. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. What does this say? Bank house farm. So oh. you do have cows and whatnot on here. So if you bring your dog over, you know, have it on a lead. Some people <laughs> you see with dogs, they don't have them on leads, but mm -hmm. that's them. So for me, well, this is, this a nice is the view. nicest view. Yeah. I bet it gets better as you go up. Oh, it does. Yeah, I'll put you back on if the view gets out. Does get better. You're right, Colette. The view does open up as you get further up. Oh yeah. We do a bit of a zoomy. Look at that. There's, sometimes there's cows and stuff in it on the field there, so just have to be careful with your doggies and sheep. Look at that. Oh, I can see some cows over there. We'll just follow the path, yeah. Oh, yes. Glorious skies, glorious green. Oh, there is cows over there. Yeah, I've just said that though. Oh, right. I just, I just lifted <laughs> well, my head up. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> I just lifted <laughs> my head up and saw them. And there's the back of the fishermen's cottages. Oh, the fishermen's cottages yeah, that we saw before. Yeah. Mainly holiday homes, aren't they? Um, I'm not sure there's quite, there is people that live in them. Right. Yeah, yeah. You had a good day? Yes, it's been lovely. That's all right. Great for your mental health. Yeah. And the birds, they're so loud. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm ready for some food. <laughs> Could I just eat a pizza? Absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I were on the diet. Eh? I thought I was on a diet. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Absolutely not. You're not having a pizza. Well, I've had nothing else today. It doesn't matter. Rob thinks because he hasn't eaten all day that he can have a pizza and that counterbalances it for some reason. I don't know how we're ever going to get him fit. I'm trying. On both of us. Salad for lunch, dear. Why are you so far away from her? Because you decided to walk down there. I'm on the path. This is the path here. This, look, there's the arrows. All right. Well, this looks like a path as well. Well, somebody's beaten a path there, but it's not the true path. This one. I am on the true path. I'll just interrupt you a minute. Good come. Give us a wave. Thanks for watching, folks. Thank you. See you on the next one. Bye.